Okie dokie, well, hi everyone, and it's cast time once again, and then, um, let me go ahead and uh, intro the music. Um, this time it's gonna be, it's called Gen Taiga. Um, Lunar Nocturnes, Esoteric Transitions, no, um, Esoteric Incantations. Um, but yeah, I played, I played this album at least once before. Um, I actually had a, there was actually an album or two I was wanting to play instead. Um, both of them didn't didn't pan out for reasons I can't remember. Um, one of them, I'll probably talk more about this album later on, but yeah, I definitely wanted to play it for this cast, but unfortunately, the album is fucking copyrighted, so, so much for that. So, uh, I had to scramble around a bit for another album to play. Um, I, I just discovered Gen Taiga, so I just decided to go ahead and go with that. Okay. So, let's get her started. Oh, um, I forgot to say this earlier, but, um, this cast, it didn't really come off the way I wanted it to, so I had to rush through some of it. I'll kind of, again, I'll kind of explain why later on, but, anyway, um, but pretty good stream though today. Just, um, did my usual, um, Started off with Idling to Roll the Gods, um, then switched over to Idle Research, uh, Trimps, Trimps afterwards, and then Idle Champs. So basically, I rinse and repeat it yesterday. And then, um, I, uh, as far as, uh, as far as like, like the music and podcasts and stuff like that, I actually played a fair amount of them, but I didn't play any of them for very long, like maybe 10, 15 minutes tops. It just, I guess, psychologically, I just couldn't sit still. So, um, and then um, on top of that, um, just had a few of my regulars drop by. So, just chatted up with them for a bit. And then um, one other guy, um, his I think his name is Sirloin of Beef, uh, kind of a reference to the pinball table of medieval madness. But yeah, um, he, he also dropped by. Uh, I haven't seen him in a very long time. So he was another, he was a pretty frequent way, he was a pretty frequent regular of mine back in the day, but I hadn't heard from him in a very long time. Um, so we, we talked, we caught up a bit, come to find out later that he was homeless for a while. I guess he, I guess he lost his job or something, but so as you'd probably expect, he has, he had no internet, he had no, or, or freaking a home to play it on for that matter, but uh, eventually, he found himself a job as a 911 dispatcher, so he he's got his life back on track. So hopefully, I'll be seeing more of him. So, so yeah, big welcome back to him. But otherwise, like like I was like I was saying, um, as far as like the the cast and the music and all that, I was pretty much all over the place. Look at her, look at something real quick. I'm, I'm checking on something real fast. Bit of an oops, but I don't hardly. But like I said, I I was in a bit of a rush when I put this cast together. Um, I'll explain more why later on. So, Oh, and um, I did remember to do this, though. I was wanting to do it yesterday, but I remembered to do it today. Um, I actually did a video of this. I'm hoping you guys can see this fairly well, but uh, just uh, like a, a quickie sample of how this game plays. Um, I, 
unlike some other idle games, um, it's less of an issue now, now that I'm, uh, I'm pretty well established, but, uh, resources have a cap in this game, so you could leave this game idling for long periods, but it's pretty much a waste, because, once again, resources have a cap. And then, um, you know, just like a lot of other idle games, you can, um, you can build buildings, they can, you can house more people. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Yeah. So, you know, you can house more, you can house more people. On like lower right corner, there's combat. Um, basically, you're the one on the left. Your enemy is the one on the right. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix this though, cause. And run this one but as you can see here um you can run maps okay, so but like I said I'm I'm just breezing through combat right now so looks like I'm the one who knocks right now but anyway like I was saying um and yeah you have sort of kind of chat going on in the upper right corner. Tells you who won, who lost the battles, that kind of stuff. Um, upper left corner, resources. But I, I just I just said this, but uh, unlike a lot of other idle games, this one here, there's a cap on them. Okay, and I did remember what else I was wanting to say too. Um, I think um, idle research, um, it's gonna get to where I think I'm gonna be putting that game on the shelf because it's all I really do on. I'm basically I'm only on there now for maybe about five minutes at the most because there really isn't much else to do on there. You can't prestiging and idle research, unlike a lot of other games really isn't worth your while. So yeah, you're, so yeah, basically I just go on, do some maintenance and then call it good. Like I said, I'm only on maybe five or 10 minutes. So it's almost not even worth me um, actually streaming the game. So I might either look for another idle game to play or just, just put the game on the shelf entirely and then just make my, uh, just make my uh, stream, my game schedule being Idling and Roll of the Gods, then Trimps, and then Idle Chance, and just doing those three. I might, I might come up with a fourth. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. Otherwise, that's that on that. Let's just go ahead and move along. Um, anyway. 
Ah, uh, pinball. I did a little bit. Um, I think um, for the for the matchup for the matchup league, um, I did the fun house table and I kicked royal ass on it. It's just just making um making well timed shots, getting uh, huge points. In fact, um, I got a I got what was called a domination bonus. Um, if you could if you could beat the high score by at least double by at least twice that much you'll start getting domination points you'll get additional uh you get extra league points on top of what you normally get but yeah like I said I I pretty much crushed the uh, current high score in Funhouse, so that knocked me up a fair peg in the uh, in the rankings so and then um I also did a few uh I also did a few, a few tournaments, but um, I think I was just uh, above average in those. Like I don't, I didn't take first in any of them. I probably placed within the top five, but that's about it. But I mean, overall, a pretty good run in uh, FX3. Now, pinball arcade, however, I was the shits. It just, I think I lasted maybe, maybe ten or so minutes. So uh, it just, I was just either, either I was, uh, my uh, shooting was bad, my decision making was bad, and then, and then other, either that or the ball was just, um, I was just getting ball drains that I had, that I couldn't do anything about, like draining in the out lane and all that, so it was just a, pretty much a terrible time. Um, but yeah, I, it was so bad that, uh, I not even I wasn't even gonna bother try to upload that video to YouTube. It isn't worth it. Too much, too much of a shit show. So I just went ahead and deleted that video. And just gotta hope that the uh, the next session I do will be a better one. Okay, so, um, and later on, um, once I got all my uh, evening stuff squared away, um, probably the reason why I had to kind of rush through this, uh, I had to rush through and get to, when putting this cast together, it's, I made the mistake of uh, actually watching a movie after, or no, before working on my cast video and not after like I usually do. So, yeah, it, I, but yeah, I started watching a movie called Eraserhead. Um, I just had a recollection that a lot of people consider this movie to be one of the most, one of the most disturbing, or one of the most alien, etc. Which I'm not gonna 100% disagree, but it was for the most part watchable. I mean, there were some, uh, there were some cringy parts in there. You know, but uh, but again, for the most part, it wasn't too bad. But uh, it should also I sh it should also be said too that uh, I'm all I'm I'm about an hour in. I haven't watched the whole entire movie. So, but yeah, like but like I like I said, it I can you know I can definitely get where people are saying that this is a very disturbing movie. Um, but on the other hand too, it. You know, it, it didn't, you know, it didn't bug me too much. You know, not enough for me to, just, you know, not enough for me to go, Oh my God, what the hell is this? Oh God, what the, oh. I mean, if anything, um, I was more, I was, I was, the, the cringe that I was getting was more from the uh, actors and actresses themselves rather than the actual movie content. It just left me like, left me wonder like, man, I hope these actors are getting paid good money for this. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad acting or anything like that. It, it, but I mean, I had the same kind of thing when, um, uh, when, when, um, one TV show I was watching for a while, Oz, you know, it's a, it's, it's about a, it's about a prison. Um, another movie I watched, uh, American History X. 
um, I guess deliverance, kind of the same same thing, you know, anything that had the, uh, and have those, you know, the infamous rape scenes. It's like, I hope these actors are getting paid good money to go through something like this. Or either that or free therapy or something. So, but but that, that was, that, the cringe part, that's mostly what was uh, running through my mind there. It's like, man, I hope they're going to roll these actors and actresses in, in some therapy or something. Or, you know, or pay them a shit ton of money. So, but again, otherwise, for the most part, it's pretty decent movie. Um, I mean, I wouldn't... Now, I wouldn't come rushing to this movie, but I don't... As of right now, I don't see me rushing to watch this movie again, but... You know, if there was a, if, if I had to choose between Eraserhead and Austin Powers, yeah, I'll Eraserhead every time. You know, kind of like what I said about on yesterday's cast. If I had to choose between... I totally forgot her name. But if I had to choose between her and the Eagles Hotel California, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going with her. I Like I said, her her name slips my mind. I, if, if you saw yesterday's cast, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, I do. But one thing I did notice when watching this movie, though, it had to have been a jumping-off point for a fair amount of these other movie directors and filmmakers and whatnot. Um, where uh, Tim Burton, I think he was the one that uh, made the movie Beetlejuice. I think. Um, he was also the one that did A Nightmare Before Christmas. But you know that kind of that kind of film style, the whole aesthetic and all that. I'll bet he had to have been influenced by Eraserhead. Um, and then Eraserhead, um, David Lynch, the guy who, the guy who made the movie, I, he, in my mind, he had to have been uh, influenced by The Residents, my all-time favorite band. But I'm, I'm talking like the early, early Residents, like the early 70s, like before they adopted their trademark style of, uh, wearing eyeball masks. Because that, that, that was also the first thing that came to mind when I'm watching this movie. This looks a lot like old residence music, like the old residence videos and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some water real quick. But yeah, um, and then um. There was a uh, the the ambience and or in the music that it was also playing. Um, I really had to search and scrounge between YouTube and Google to find the name of this band. It's a one man band called the Caretaker. Yeah, that was I I didn't know the name. I didn't know the band name. I just knew exactly what the album cover looked like. So like I said, I had to do a little bit of running around trying to find it. I found it and. I said this at the start of the cast, I really wanted to play this album on this cast video because it's so freaking awesome, but unfortunately, it's all copyrighted, so, but, but yeah, I think, um, The Caretaker and, um, other bands of that ilk, I think they were probably, uh, influenced by Eraserhead as well, but, you know, so, say what you want about how creepy and disturbing this movie is, it pretty much became the jumping off point for a lot of the music and movies that everybody's come to know and love these days. So. But, uh, in all likelihood, I'll probably finish watching the movie. But I guess, uh, kind of a, kind of a quick capsule review. Um, good movie. Um, but not something that I'd go out of my way to watch again. But, I would watch it, or I would watch it before other movies. So, like if it, if it popped up on my YouTube recommendations or something, and if I wasn't really feeling anything else at the time, yeah, I'll give it another watch. You know, for a little while, anyway. So. 
But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I believe I said all the things that I wanted to say. And um, sorry this, uh, this video wasn't better prepared. But like I said, I made the mistake of watching a movie before deciding to put, before making my cast video and not after like I usually do. So, so yeah, mistakes were made. But anyway, um, once again, thanks for uh, dropping in and or thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm on vacation this week, so I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.